Thousands of Americans are helping monarch butterflies by planting milkweed in their garden. But did you know that one species of milkweed has scientists worried? Before your next milkweed planting project, watch this video to learn more about one species of milkweed that may be causing some trouble for the monarch. Milkweed is the sole food source for monarch caterpillars and more than 100 varieties of this leafy green plant are native to North America. But if you are interested in buying and planting one in your garden, it turns out that only a handful of varieties are available in nurseries and popular garden centers. And in certain parts of the country, milkweeds are hard to find. One species of milkweed commonly found in nurseries is tropical milkweed, Asclepius curasabica, also known as Mexican milkweed or bloodflower and this plant comes to us from Central and South America. This beautiful plant is easy to grow and attracts monarch and various other butterflies and pollinators. However, scientists have recently discovered that tropical milkweed may be causing some monarchs to skip long distance migration and increase its chances of getting sick with a parasite. Let's talk about why that might be. The spectacular long-distance migration that monarchs undertake each fall helps them escape a nasty little parasite called OE, or Ophryocystis electroscara. This parasite is passed from an infected female to her caterpillars when she lays eggs on milkweed plants. As she lays eggs, hundreds of parasite spores fall into the milkweed. The caterpillar then eats some of the spores but some of the spores stay on the plant for long periods of time and can be eaten by other caterpillars. Infected monarchs can have wing deformities, don't live as long, and are not as strong in flight as healthy monarchs. So how is migration helping with OE? Scientists have found that monarch migration helps protect butterflies from this parasite. By simply heading for Mexico, Monarchs leave behind milkweed plants contaminated with parasite spores, and the spores die when plants die back in the fall. Because infected monarchs cannot fly as well, they are less likely to survive the strenuous migration. And so migration also removes many infected monarchs from the population. So then what's happening to monarchs in tropical milkweed? Tropical milkweed persists longer than native milkweeds and even grows year-round where temperatures remain mild, giving the butterflies nectar and leaves to munch on for the caterpillars. Why take the long journey if all you need is available right at your feet? Especially if you're a little weaker than other butterflies because you're infected with OE. In fact, citizen scientists have reported monarch populations that do not migrate all along the Gulf Coast of United States. These monarchs that continue to use tropical milkweed do not have the benefit of leaving plants contaminated with OE, and they are five times more likely to get sick with this parasite. Some populations have been documented to have nearly 100% infection rate. So the problem with tropical milkweed is not that it's somehow worse for the monarchs, but rather that it's around when native milkweed is not. This fact means that it may lead to OE spread just by being available. So what should we do? First, plant native milkweeds in your garden. Visit plantmilkweed.org. Second, learn how to recognize signs of OE infection by visiting monarchparasites.org. Also, participate in a citizen science project, such as Project Monarch Health, which, with the help of volunteers, tracks the spread of the OE parasite across North America.